Hey, what's going on? Today I'm going to share five ways that stress has a negative impact on your performance, your productivity, your relationships, and a whole lot more. So you've got two parts to your nervous system. There's the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight, and there's the parasympathetic nervous system, which is rest and digest. And they're both good. It's not that one is better than the other. They both have their own functions. But the problem is today we're all confronted with multiple chronic stressors and we spend a lot more time in our sympathetic response, which is fight or flight. So here are five ways that that is having a negative impact in many areas of your life. So number one, it suppresses your immune system. When your body is in a stressed state, all it can think about, your, your subconscious mind, all it really thinks about is surviving to live to see another day. And that suppresses your immune system, which increases your risk for getting things like cold, flu, and any kind of illness or disease. You need to have a healthy immune system if you wanna live a long, healthy life. Number two, it dumbs you down. It decreases your creativity. It makes it a lot harder to focus and concentrate. And the reason is, is when you get stressed, the blood goes from your frontal lobes, which really help you think, be logical, be creative, um, to your amygdala, which is like your lizard brain. It's very primitive. It's all about survival. And lots of times you know, when we snap at people, that comes from our amygdala and not our frontal lobes. And typically that happens when we're really stressed out. Number three, it robs you of energy. So when you get stressed, your body releases stress hormones. One of those is cortisol. Cortisol is very good in the right amount, but when you have too much, that causes inflammation. And inflammation is the enemy of energy production. So the more inflammation you have, the less energy your body makes. So your mitochondria make less ATP. That can show up as fatigue and many other symptoms. That, that can be pain, that can lead to obesity, all sorts of chronic disease. And remember, the brain is an energy hog. So when your body doesn't make as much energy, that also shows up in your brain pretty quick, which is another way that your brain takes a hit on focus, concentration, uh, brain fog, and even things like depression and anxiety. So number four is digestion. So when you're stressed, your blood is, is going to your arms, your legs, you have less blood in your stomach to help with your digestion. That means you have a decrease in nutrient absorption. It also messes with peristalsis or the movement of food through your system. For some of us, it can push food right through and then it, it moves through too fast so uh, your food doesn't break down. And for others of us, that can cause constipation. And with constipation, you're not removing waste that uh, you wanna be getting out of your body. And it can cause bloating and just all sorts of discomfort when you eat your food. So you don't wanna eat in a stressed state. You wanna to try to activate that rest and digest. That's gonna give you much better digestion. And then number five, it really increases things like negativity, self-doubt, because it's hard to be positive. It's hard to be confident when you're tired all the time, when you're getting sick, when you can't think well, when you're feeling bloated or just uncomfortable when you eat food. And all this creates kind of this negative downward death spiral when things get worse and worse. And you really wanna watch how you manage stress. Many years ago, before I knew better, I spent a lot of time in a stressed state and I wasn't the nicest person to be around. I could be a real dick to my coworkers, to friends, to my significant other at the time, my wife, and me spending too much time stressed out was a big driver leading to my divorce because I wasn't fun to be around when I was like that. Um, and the way I would manage stress then was through drinking, binge watching TV, and even uh, eating bad food. So you wanna make sure you're, you're managing stress in a healthy way, uh, pounding down a bunch of uh, drinks, is not a healthy way. You wanna be doing things like meditation, breath work, going for a walk, working out, doing something that inspires you, that's creative. So all these things are gonna help you be a better person. You're gonna be more productive. 
you're gonna perform better, you're gonna have better energy, you're gonna think better, and life is just gonna be a whole lot better, and your relationships are gonna be a lot better because you're gonna be more pleasant to be around. People also like to be around people that have good energy, people that think well, and people that are healthy. So managing stress, it's gonna help you in so many ways. Uh, doesn't really matter what you do to manage stress as long as it's healthy and as long as it works for you. So for me, I have a combination of different things. It's good to, uh, to mix these things up, but uh, experiment, see what, work, see what works best for you. Let me know how these things work for you. And if you have any questions, ask below. I hope this helps and I will see you real soon.